posting exclusive new surveillance video. It shows the moment chaos broke out inside a deli in the Bronx last night, killing an innocent man. Yeah, workers tell us the victim was inside buying a bag of chips. When gunfire broke out, bullets started to fly, and now police are looking for the gunman who pulled the trigger. I'm News reporter Stefan Kim is live in East Tremont with the story. Stefan. Well, listen, David, it was around four in the morning and this bodega was full of life, dancing and laughter one second. Then just like that, violence erupted, striking and killing an innocent bystander. It was a celebratory mood inside the gourmet deli on East Tremont Avenue in the Bronx with customers packed inside, dancing and singing. But pay attention to the top right corner of your screen. It looks like the man in a ski mask is trying to go through the pockets of the man wearing a black and white jacket. It's unclear who, but one of them has a gun. As they struggle, take a look at the man in a dark green jacket buying a bag of chips. A friend of the man in the black and white jacket then enters the store. As he joins the scuffle, you can see a gunshot go off. The man by the bag of chips then grabs his upper thigh and exits the deli as that scuffle continues. He walks out into the street holding his leg as that fight spills out onto the sidewalk. The man in the black and white jacket then rips the gun out of the other man's hands and walks away from the scene. It's very uh, dangerous environment. It's not the first time this has happened. I just don't want it to continue to happen. The victim has been identified as 29-year-old Stefan Barnes from Harlem. He was rushed to St. Barnabas Hospital in critical but stable condition where he later died. Deli workers said he was a frequent customer, always friendly, an innocent bystander at the wrong place at the wrong time. It happened just before 4.30 in the morning yesterday. This is a good neighborhood. You know, no, nobody has any problems with anybody. And, and for this to happen, is kind of shocking. Now, the police have made no arrest at this hour. The investigation is ongoing. Reporting live in the Bronx, Stefan Kim, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.